So I know basically everyone is already over this product, but today we're gonna be opening up a Charizard UPC. I have gone through such a nightmare to get this product. And I only almost crashed once. Oh no! <laughs> and actually shout out to the kind folks at TCG Player for sending me this. But let's get this open and talk a bit more about this product because I think it's been doing some things that are pretty unexpected for a lot of people. Now, as you can see, this is a fairly large product. It actually takes up all of my filming space and I do film with my phone, if you were wondering. So it does seem really high quality. The top is obviously glossy, but the side is a little bit matte, which I really like the feel of. Inside, I'm sure you guys have all seen this. It is another Charizard. This is just gonna be a play mat. I'll take that out and maybe we can use this in future videos. So inside you can see that it's set up just like the Celebration TPC. I'm gonna kind of go through this quickly because I think all of you guys have seen this. In my time when I could not acquire this product, I saw enough openings to know that the promos are gonna be in this pocket. So I'm actually gonna take those out so that we can look at them later because I think we're gonna wanna look at these very closely because the print quality of these has not been great but i'm hoping for decent centering on mine but below that we're gonna have some of our packs in here we have a total of eight packs including two lost origin three astral radiance and three brilliant stars packs so pretty good packs overall obviously the pull rates of lost origin are awful but there are some cool cards in here then we have the coin which is just going to be a charizard v max really nice coin got some weight to it but also kind of junk to be honest uh, <laughs> next up, we have just more packs. I have um, an empty baggie, which is really, really cool. This is actually the thing I was looking forward to the most. But next up, we have just some more of the packs. And we have another bag with the V-Star marker. And actually, one more pack beneath that as well. So as you can see, we have two packs of Fusion Strike, three packs of Evolving Skies, one of Vivid Voltage, one of Darkness Ablaze, and one more of Fusion Strike. So honestly, the packs in here are pretty good. Obviously, the weakest one is going to be that Darkness Blaze, but thankfully, they only put in one of those. In the last pocket, we just have some sleeves, which we may be using today because I'm actually out of town right now, uh, hence the really random background, and I don't think I actually have really basically any sleeves with me. But we also have two more bags here, as well as our dice. These are really actually pretty heavy, so they're really nice. Uh, but let's just go through the packs quickly. I have the itch, guys. It's the holiday season, which you can tell by my sweater. Obviously, that's what that means. I need to open at least some packs because it's been too long, guys. So let's open these from worst to best based off of my opinions, which is definitely bound to offend some people. So we're going to have Fusion Strike. We have Evolving Skies. Darkness of Blaze is going to be first, followed by Vivid Voltage. I think then we might do Fusion Strike. Then I think we're gonna go for Lost Origin. Then let's do Astral Radiance after that. And I'm gonna put Brilliant Stars after Evolving Skies. So that means that I do think it's slightly better. All right, let's get this started. You know, now we're in the swing of things, so I feel like I can just talk more normally. As you guys know, getting this product was very, very difficult for me. I appreciate everyone who offered to send me some of these, but you guys definitely do not need to do that. Um, you guys should save your money for yourselves or to buy, you know, cards for yourselves or other people or use them for more important things than shiny cardboard, especially for me. But I do really appreciate that. The people at TCG Player were kind enough to actually send me one of these and I'm just like super grateful about it. I actually also asked if they'd be willing to send an extra one for you guys because I was planning for my 5,000 subscriber video to open one of these and also give one away. Obviously, that is not what ended up happening, but I think that was still a really cool video regardless. You guys should actually go watch that if you haven't seen it. It explains a bit of the lore of why this video is happening so late. But the second print run of this set, I think is supposed to already be out by now or just about be coming out. And by set, I mean product to be clear. But I think a lot of people are freaking out because they were paying, you know, meme prices for these, like over $200 a box before people knew how much was gonna be printed. Obviously, um, I did not end up doing that. I had pre-ordered at MSRP. That didn't end up working out. But now you can actually get them for below MSRP, which is really, really cool because uh, I mean, 100 bucks for one of these, honestly, like, it's a pretty decent deal when you go through and do the math. I think the promos are still going for about $40 in total for the three, the Charizard V, the V-Star, and the V-Max. So that already makes up $40 of the value of the box. And then you have a total of 16 packs. So at about $100, maybe like 102 I think right now, 
Um, that's going to be about $62 for the packs and everything else, which is going to put you at right around $4 per pack. And that's assuming you value everything else at nothing. But there's also a playmat in here, which is a pretty nice quality playmat. So that definitely has some value as well. And this does include some pretty good um, singles, obviously. And also when you're opening up one of these, you have the potential to get promos that are decently centered because it's actually a lot harder than I think a lot of people were anticipating because the print quality had been going up um, aside for, from these promos, which I think is also indicative of how many of these were printed. I am actually planning on making a whole video talking about the print run for this product. Also, I really do hate how many of these code cards are facing backwards, but what that does mean is that there is the potential to grade them and get a profit on that. I think the tens of these are still going for a really decent amount just because it's a lot harder than people were anticipating. So the overall print run of the product like is pretty huge. However, that doesn't mean that it's gonna have a super high ratio of nines to tens for grading purposes. So if you are trying to grade these, which I wouldn't recommend cracking these to try and um, pull these because I think, you know, everyone knows now that they're very, very hard to grade just because the centering on them is so bad and they do have a lot of whitening as well. But you're better off trying to open your own rather than buy some on eBay that are already open. It's kind of the same basically for all the other alt arts. If you see a really, really good deal, there's probably something wrong with it, which doesn't necessarily matter. But if you are trying to grade it to get a 10, you might want to look carefully because either the centering is going to be bad There's maybe a lot of whitening on the back or something like that to make it worth less than it would be in a 10 Because obviously generally speaking ultra modern cards should be easier to grade, but we're cracking through this I've literally gotten nothing so far and I think we're almost halfway through the packs Which is really depressing, but you know, we are opening from worst to best so that could potentially mean that we should have something in the latter half of this box. And even if we don't, we do still have those promos. And you know, maybe I got super lucky, got some tens. I mean, not to flex guys, but I did get a 10 on my one singular special delivery Charizard. And I do think that there is something at the back of this one. So maybe our luck is gonna turn around, but I really, really hope it does. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, first hit guys. I'm really tempted when I'm editing to add in some like super dramatic music to the background. I think that would actually add like a really nice touch. Maybe our luck is gonna turn around, but I really, really hope it does. Let's see. Oh, yes. First hit, guys. But going back to being given this by TCG Player, they did say that I could give one away to you guys. So to do that, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and also comment which of the three Charizard promos are your favorite. They're gonna flash on screen and you can tell me which one. Feel free to include the reason why if you want, but you really don't have to. But I'm just talking about it now, kind of in the middle of the video because I want it to be people who like actually watch my videos, who get this type of stuff, not people who just come in at the start of the video. But I was really excited to be able to give one of these away because I know that they are really expensive. And you know, it's the season of giving, so I think it's a really good time to be giving away something like this. So let's see, this is our second to last pack of Astral Radiance, also known as our second pack because I believe there are three. Also, if you watch carefully, you can slowly see the bulk accumulate in the background and you may even see some point where it falls over because chances are it will. That happens very often when I film videos like these, which is part of the reason that I struggle with these so much. I'm just, I'm not built for this, guys. I don't know if I'm built to be a pack opener, but currently we do have seven packs left with one singular V. I would say that this is on par with my regular uh, opening abilities, maybe slightly worse, but I do think that this product kind of has something out for me. It's just really resistant to me. It does not want me to open it, does not want me to be lucky from it, but. So as I said earlier, the product is going for below MSRP right now. So it's like a relatively fair price, I would say. I think 120 was a bit steep because that would require valuing the promos relatively highly. And I hope you guys did not buy this at super high prices because honestly, uh, I don't think this product is gonna get very expensive very quickly whatsoever. I don't know if you saw that, but that was a near miss. But I do think this product is gonna take a while to get over 200 again, um, or even like, especially something like 300, $400. But if you do have this product at a relatively low price and you didn't buy that many, I think it's fine to hold them. Personally, I do plan on buying a couple extra of these to have on hand, just because they're overall a cool product. Also, look at the print quality there. This is so off-center. That's just that good old Evolving Skies print quality. Oh my God, it's happening, guys, it's happening. We're just gonna eat out of sight, out of mind. We're okay, the show must go on. I think it's okay to have a couple of these, as I was saying though, but if you have a lot of these, like, 
Yeah, they'll go up eventually, but you also have to think about the opportunity cost because in the time that you're waiting for these to go up, we have a Neuburn here. Really good print quality also. If you take a look right here, you can see just from the front, it almost seems like the blade that was used to cut this was somewhat dull, maybe from just being overused. Um, also, you can see here that it has an interesting texture on the blue border, but I don't think that's really going to be adding a lot of value. So these are current hits. Doing pretty well, guys. Doing pretty well. Oh, but before I lose my train of thought for the tenth time, opportunity cost. In the time that you're waiting for these to go up, you might as well buy something else because odds are uh, you can do better with something else other than this. But that does involve obviously a lot of fees. Uh, also, these are just really large. They do take up a lot of space. And if you know you're gonna be sitting at a loss on these for like a really, really long time, it may be better to just sell them now. Because regardless of whether or not you think this is a good product or people will want it in the long run, the Pokemon company did print to demand, which is why it's below MSRP. So that means I think that they printed a lot. Uh, and that's why I do wanna make a video talking about the print run. We can't know exactly, but you know, we can use some math to make some estimates. Uh, nothing in that pack either. All right, we've got four more packs left. Let's see if I can get anything in one of these. All right, this is the last pack. I think, you know, it, it feels like Moonbrion could be in there. I really think it could be, guys. So let's open this up and see what we have got here. I'm excited for Brilliant Stars. I just love the trainer gallery because it just always adds that extra little element. And also it just makes the pull rates feel a lot less fixed. And you know that even if you get, you know, maybe a bad secret rare, I mean, obviously you could get two, but you know that there's still a chance to pull some really, really cool looking stuff. And I like that they're making products, or I mean cards that look cool, but aren't expensive. They're easy to pull. I think that's also a really good way to keep young people in the hobby. So I do really hope they continue making those in Scarlet and Violet. These are just such awesome cards, and I think they make collecting a lot more accessible because let's be honest, regular Vs, I don't think a lot of people really have that much of an interest in them, but a lot of people do wanna collect full trainer galleries, which is really, really awesome. And okay, let's see what we have here. I'm just gonna rush through this because I really wanna see if we can get anything in Brilliant Stars. And also, I just wanna get to those promos as quickly as possible because I just have to know. Nothing in that one. Oh my God, guys, this might actually be the worst opening that I've ever done. And mind you, I've opened an entire box of Fusion Strike and gotten four Ultra Rares, three of which were regular Vs, and the fourth, I think, might've just been a regular Full Art. No Secret Rare, obviously no Alt Art nothing but this might be a new pr even for me if we can't pull anything from here so let's go oh my god nice 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 so i don't think this is a record because technically that is a hit we also have not gotten even that many hollows i think you know we've had a couple but just not that many this is our last pack by the way um you can also see right here the, the massive amounts of garbage. Trying to keep those off to the sides so that I don't cause permanent trauma to your eyes. <sighs> All right, final pack. Let's see if we can get anything from here. One more pack of Brilliant Stars. So four from the back and let's see if we have anything. I mean, the promos really are gonna be the big decider of whether or not this box was anywhere near worth the money. If they're really well centered, maybe I could break even on this box, but the odds of that happening, based off of the rest of this box, I don't think are very high. But let's see, now I have to, oh, oh no. I'm looking for them, I found them. They were under the pile of bulk. So let's just tidy up a little bit, shall we? <laughs> I think that might be good. I think people might appreciate that. First of all, code card. Second of all, moment of truth. Let's see how the centering is. On the first one, it's not great. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's not great. I can't remember if all the cards had similar centering, like they were from the same kind of sheet or cut together, or if they were all different because we might have one or two that do have decent centering and then some that do not. Let's take a look at the back of this one. So there's a tiny bit of whitening in the upper right. The corner here is quite sharp um, and it is not centered that well. So let's see which one this is. This one is a Charizard V-Star, which is actually my personal favorite one of these, specifically because there's the Mewtwo V-Star, which shows the exact same picture from its perspective, which is just so good, like so good. Um, this one, definitely not a 10. 
Next one, centering, also not that great, but this one is the VMAX. This one's okay. Uh, this very much to me just looks like a Magic the Gathering card. And our last one, I would say the centering on this one is probably the best, but if you look, the top is still quite jagged. The centering isn't awful, but I also don't think this one is going to get a 10 either, unfortunately. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Also, again, don't forget about the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away one of these UPCs. You don't have to open it if you don't want to. You'll probably lose money if you do. But, I mean, it's a fun product to open. You do get some cool promos. If you're someone who likes to have a binder of cards like I do, it's really good for that. Or you can keep it sealed. You can do whatever you want with it. All you have to do to enter is like, subscribe, and comment which of these three promos is your favorite. I'm honestly so happy right now because I'm finally free of this quest. You guys should check out TCG Player because they help make this possible. And also, thank you to my patrons. In particular, Chris, Jake, Corey, Edge, Oscar, and Steve. Thank you guys so much for watching. 